Yo, welcome back, people. It's your boy Crypto Junior UK. Guys, hope you like been having a good day, man. I can't lie to you, today has been a busy day. I just could not wait to get home, start talking about crypto, because of course the market has been looking at us and laughing in our face, saying, Look at you guys buying the dip. Look, I'm about to give you another dip. Oh man, honestly, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't even want to start wasting any time. But literally, guys, if you're new to this channel, I'm basically talking all crypto news. There's some NFT news that I will start touching upon later on as we go. But at the moment, I'm focusing on this one bull run. I'll chuck some NFTs in there. And I've also got a little surprise at the end of the video. So if you lot are interested, especially if you're from the UK, the UK, it'll be better if you lot are from the UK. No offense to everyone else, but it will be easier on my end. So if you want to stick around and watch the rest of the video and see that little surprise at the end, good, good. Guys, as well, thank you for all your support so far. Guys, hopefully I'm giving you as much information as I can. Bear in mind, I'm not a professional. As I said, disclaimer, disclaimer, what I say is not financial advice. It, I'm literally just taking you through my journey in this crypto world. I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to understand the space. You know, I'm already invested. I've been there since January, but you know, I'm just trying to learn, trying to put myself out there so I can understand stuff. And guys as well, let me know if you're like watching and you're enjoying the content, please let me know if you want me to live stream and then you know we can um interact and you can tell me you can ask me questions i can look it up you could you know tell me about new coins that you think might be something and i could look it up do some research on it for you look up white papers and stuff but yeah man uh i don't want to waste your time last thing please hit that like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel it really helps out it helps me out with the algorithm it lets the video get spread around you know so people know that i'm sharing this content i just want to help as many people i want everyone to win especially with this technology man it's so new so i don't want people to miss out you know what i mean but guys i'm not gonna waste your time let's jump straight into it uh this this market has ruined me but it is what it is man okay so today as you can see we're back in the reds <laughs> if you keep seeing my mood go up and down like this this is genuinely like crypto man don't get me wrong i'm not upset this is something i'm used to i'm you know i'm a long time holder and you know i don't plan on jumping out of this space that quickly but i plan on making strategic buys you know something that i have hope in something i've done a lot of extensive you know research on so don't get me wrong like this stuff i'm used to and i don't expect anything more than this like of course more crashes to come but i've i've seen one bear market the may time one may april time so yeah like 80 percent, not 80 percent, maybe maybe 70 percent dropped but yeah it's crazy in it so i'm used to it um but anyway let's let's get let's get cracking bitcoin the big dog man what can i say what can i say let's let's take a look yeah i've been i've been busy today so you know i've managed to just scramble up what i can but it's, it's you know this to me again is manipulation <laughs> like of course i that was my instant reaction there's a lot of news going on about this there was an article i saw which i can find i saw it earlier on today but i couldn't I forgot to pin it something about uh the uk wanting to clamp down on crypto or something like that but you know this is fud everywhere like you know it's, it's news just trying to shake the market as you can see um literally on the 11th five days ago we were at 68 no so is that 11th 10th sorry six days ago we were at 68 man crashed was rolling around here for a while and now today was the biggest dip we got like don't get me wrong my emotions when i woke up and i saw this i'm telling you this is my phone yeah this is my phone i woke up looked at it dumped it i i, I didn't even bother looking at the phone I, i'm telling you i didn't want nothing to do with it but also at the same time i was feeling that way because i know i had no money to bloody buy low I get it people will buy the dips how many dips can you keep getting but it makes a difference over time in it so um as you say like dcaing up and down it makes no odds 
but it gives you that chance to just buy at a better price than you could have if you if it, if the market was green so yeah i was upset that's a lesson that i've learned guys um in my case for my case make sure you're left with some extra money to jump into these little dips all right crypto george talks about it yeah that, i watch him and he says it all the time and i've learned my lesson now because i'm now unfortunately going through that i can't buy anything while these markets are just crashing but anyway yeah that's bitcoin and um as you can see i'm trying to pick out the green ones the ones that are doing well avalanche there was one guy one person i don't know if it's a girl or, or, or a guy but the saying um they what do i think about avalanche man this token yeah it from the research i've done it is picking up man like in general the token had a quite chilled out zone it's it's literally moving like luna at the moment they were both quite relaxed can you imagine this year like we were playing around with prices like this I've seen crazy predictions of this, like it's gonna go over a hundred dollars straight away. So, you know, like man, congratulations to anyone who bought bought this Avalanche to token at this price. Cause you're laughing right now, you're up. You're literally living your best life. So of course that's up to you what you decide to do with your profits or you decide to hang on and hold. But man, good luck on that journey. I can't advise you on that because I still don't know what I need to do for myself. But man, um, for of course this is, I can't tell you to go buy this, but for me, I feel like it's a project that I'm, I'm going to look at for sure when, when I've got some capital to put into the market. But at the meantime, <clears throat> I can't do anything but watch and regret why I didn't jump in. But it is what it is. I had noticed the token a long time ago, literally this year, literally around this time. I told you, anyone who watched the videos before, this was the this was the time period I did not put any money in, and I regret it. And I had money, but I just didn't put it in. I don't know what was going on. COVID, man, it ruined it. But it is what it is. I think, you know, once the market crashed, every, everything just kind of felt low. You know, you didn't want to lump any money in there. And that's another lesson I've learned that these bear markets are your time to get rich. So not rich, but, you know, to profit the most. That's where these wells lump their money in because no one is willing to. So they've got the most capital. But anyway, yeah, I'm interested in seeing what's in the green at the moment. Crypto.com token is still 20% up in the week crazy what else um not a lot everything is <laughs> yeah the central land yeah this one's pumped i think sandbox did a madness as well so yeah four percent up in 24 hours 32 percent in the past week that is incredible anyone who got into that man congrats man congrats i'm looking for sandbox i'm pretty sure it done a madness yeah look look at that honestly i managed to get in i think one of my friends got his talking quite early and i wish he had told me but either way i managed to uh, he told told me about it i had a fee i had I'd known about it a tiny bit then i started researching you know metaverse tokens man and then i lumped in and i got lucky like some of them pumped when e um not elon when mark zuckerberg announced meta this was the one i missed the pump but it dropped it dropped so let me check if i can see yeah man i, I capitalized on this dip uh it's not a big dip don't get me wrong like it was yeah this was around the time it pumped so i think i got in like around here not around there that's a lie it's a bit lower like close to the time i got paid so around there around there is around where i got in so it's not too bad i'm up i'm up i wish i held more but i'm not holding a lot of them but yeah man um the crypto market is not looking good and i, I think that's to do with bitcoin essentially a lot of news i'll show you this this little bubble graph here so um of course this is literally what the market shows it's, it's just in a form of bubbles the bigger the bubble the better the more profits that token has had the smaller they are and the color red is like their negatives so as you can see here the this i otx token 100 percent in the past week 
I see X14 sandbox as I said 36% is pumping doing well doing well crypto.com token again um, wax token I don't know which one this one is um, mana another metaverse token boosting two metaverse tokens there and this token here all right listen my mum my mum is some genius i don't know where she gets these ideas but she lumped her money into this token some money into this token. not a lot don't get me wrong don't know what she saw in it but apparently it's a i think it's an nft based one or well, maybe um how'd you call it metaverse but i'm not too sure she told me to look up look into it literally yesterday but i i haven't looked into it yet I'm going to do some research on it later on, but I'm not advising anyone to buy this, but this was her purchase, a random purchase, don't know what made her do it, but she did it, and she's smiling, so good, good on you, mum, good on you if you're watching this, but yeah, man, um, that's in the week, that's in the past week, so I don't know if I could change this, day to day, again, make it smaller, yeah, it's just two, like, yeah, the same tokens, and this one over here, um that's another exchange token by the way that one is doing all right um yeah so again everything is to do with bitcoin at the moment i'm pretty sure this was the cause of everything um we will move on to this topic talk about bitcoin all right so will bitcoin hold 60k we saw that it dipped below 60k today um let me just confirm that i'm pretty sure i saw it below 60k yeah, it would dip to 59, 59,000 there. So yeah, that was a bit scary because I, I, I can't lie to you. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to see that. Um, but apparently it's to do with uh, a lot of lev leverage traders. So a lot of people got shaken out of their position. So close to complete data I suggest, yeah. 8% daily losses are painful for longs and but not problem for still bullish analytics all right so yeah a lot of people will leverage trade yeah they can cause this to happen because the market gets shaken out and then they'll just get liquidated completely boom so just drops the price all the time i'm so sorry if there's like some pops i need to reduce my mic but yeah hopefully that that goes down and you can still hear me um yeah so bitcoin extended slide on november 16th as Bitcoin price action returned to test. Yeah, I'm not a TA guy, so I, there is like a what do you call it? There's a point where Bitcoin has got to test, but it's dropped below that. So data on Coin Market Pro trading view show Bitcoin USD coming down eight percent from Monday's local highs above sixty six thousand, bouncing at sixty thousand three hundred and fifty dollars on Bitstamp. The pair, nothing not less traded at its lowest since november 6th yeah which is crazy because i've got um let me check if this is correct i i don't know if you guys know ben benjamin cohen so here i saw this tweet that he posted he said lowest price of bitcoin in these uh, months of 2021 july we had a low of 29k august was 37k September was 39k. October, literally last one. Remember, well, that's I think that was a month we pumped, like like pumped as well. Broke that 63, and got yeah, broke the 63, but we didn't stay there. And um, yeah, that was the lowest was 43. So in general, it's moving all right. Like we we don't want to drop anything below that. I'm pretty. I, I'm not too. You know. Um, I'm, I told you this I'm not Mr. Brainiac on that side of things but yeah a lot of people are saying that you should be we should be worried if Bitcoin is dropping below 57,000 so let's hope that that's not the case and we stay above that line and you know we we, we proceed to go higher and higher but uh, yeah um, what else is saying here while previous arguments even favored a trip to 59,000, which was what we just had. However, the chances of a drop below 60 remained at the time of writing. Trader Peter Brandit 
Apparent potential buying opportunities revealed a desired entry level of closer to 50k. See, this is this is what I mean. Like everyone, I don't know any TA, so I'm I use the news for me to try and understand it. Don't worry, I'm gonna try and understand some. I'm gonna try and learn some TA so I can have an idea. But yeah, this guy is saying we could test 50k. I'm interested in buying Bitcoin at around 53 and ETH at 4,000. So that's a good buying price to be fair, if, especially if we're gonna be hitting that 98, you're getting a good discount there. So, hey, I can't I can't lie, that's a good buying, that's where I'd like to buy, but I don't know what the chances of that happening, you know? So we gotta roll with the punches and see what happens. But anyway, on other news, this could have impacted something to do with it, but it's saying 20, 22 hours ago, but yeah, crypto mining stock dips as sec issues subpoenas to uh to a company called marathon digital mining uh yeah there, there's of course bitcoin mining is run by different companies uh share prices of marathon digital stock dropped as did uh those of major those from major crypto mining firms including riot i used to own some shares in riot blockchain uh but i sold them because i wanted to put my money in crypto this is my opinion. This is what I did. Uh, this has nothing to do with me telling you to do to go sell your stocks. I right? this was my decision. Don't do don't do what I'm I'm saying that I done just because I said it. Yeah, do your own research. Yeah, uh, for me, as I said, this is my own opinion. Uh, I feel like crypto is the new age of stocks. <laughs> like you're not gonna get. Unfortunately, like like the thing is. Uh, the crypto market is so like, versatile man. like you're volatile or whatever word you want to say it goes up and down like no man's business like where you see like stocks that would drop between 10 to 15 maybe 20 percent but crypto can do a whole 40 percent within like a week or like a day like that's nuts that that will scare you if you put a lot of money in so uh, i've been i've been there and i just know for myself my strategy is hope to make two portfolios lock one up and have one to play with but you know that's what it is so again more miners being chased by uh the uh, what do you call it the regulatory hump well sec in america chasing them up doing lawsuits it's, it's not gonna be a, a an end in it like they're gonna keep chasing after these things i don't know what's going on with their securities um you know an exchange commission they just they're just out here for everyone and they're chasing up apparently other cryptos you know sending them lawsuits like literally it's just they, they, they're clamping up on it i don't know if they're doing it fairly uh, because there's no rules on this so i just feel like they're just attacking people with enforcement like put rules down let give people time to, to comply and if they can't then chase after them but here you're just chasing I'm not uh, I'm not no professional but I feel like it's a bit unfair like how are you chasing after people when you haven't got digital rules when you're running with old school news like fiat based we're not that we're not talking about that now this is a new age of crypto currency digital currency but anyway this is another one price analysis on bitcoin eth oh man apparently these are going to pop i don't even need to look at these man like but in general i hold Bit i don't hold bitcoin don't ask why i don't i i just know i will not benefit from it at the moment unless if there's a huge dip i'll put some money in there but of course like i um, i'll need to like what's what's the max it can do from here 2x is it 2x no if we drop to the yeah, air like it's not too much man i won't be getting that many gains unless if i lump so much money in it which i ain't got bnb i don't hold solana i i hold a tiny bit i wish i had more ada i do xrp dot doge yes unfortunately yes luna is one to look for but yeah man those uh, I, i'm praying all those tokens do well and i'm praying for everyone to do well in this bull market if we get it but yeah, I'm um, back on to some interesting XRP news. I don't know if you lot are any XRP holders and or are interested in the token. Guys, go follow this guy called John Deaton, all right? He's one of the lawyers chasing up after this lawsuit, trying to figure out why things are unfair. 
you know because they've done so much research him a digital uh, asset investor i think and um, mr jeremy hogan i watch these guys religiously every single time when this court case started you know news upon it was everywhere 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 but these three guys were the ones i looked to all the time but anyway regardless of that uh he's got a, a you know a form that you can sign in to submit so you can be part of the case like if you're holding it or if you're interested in it so they're just trying to get as many numbers on that on that to sign that so they can present it to the judge to say look at how many of these people don't agree with what's going on i've already put mine down but i think there's like sixty thousand now i remember ages ago it was probably at like 15k now 30 and then 30 then a lot of people are picking up about it so i think if you're interested i think you know if you want to play your part in, in this case i think you know it don't hurt to just support um there was something here yeah it said any xrp holder from anyone can join if they want to support a fight against the sec overreach the sec position is that all xrp is a security therefore we can join if you dis you can join if you desire but yeah it's a, it's a it's an unfair game i don't understand why they want to say all xrp is a security even though they followed what uh, ethereum did why are they not attacking ethereum when ethereum did the same thing why don't you go back on ethereum's past and say the previous token you guys sold were securities why are they not being treated the same like let give it a fair like you know fair playing ground whatever you want to call it everyone should be treated the same regardless yeah why why is those two bitcoin and ethereum being given a free pass man bitcoin you can't touch that that ain't got no company involved in that so fair enough but ethereum yes 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 that one needs to be looked at because honestly there's some fishy business there um but either way as i said i just want everyone to win and this case is important regardless of the crypto market because whatever comes out of there will be lumped to every other token <laughs> I, I don't know if you don't want to believe that but they've got to use something as a basis in it so i'm pretty sure that, that not pretty sure that in my opinion this will set the standard to what's going to happen to other tokens if you get what i mean but yeah it is what it is um, i hope for the best and uh what else is here ripple as well i love ripple i told you mainly i will talk about a lot of ripple because i like the, i like them until something else starts popping up i'm interested in it because i'm trying like i still don't understand why this company is being sued when every other country out of the us thinks it's a bloody digital currency and they are utilizing it look at this partnership we announce our partnership with the middle east based blockchain firm to bring low cost cross-border payments to the region with over uh, odr which is um on-demand liquidity solution like for god's sake like this this is nuts like they're moving they're they're using their the i think it's the xrp ledger to their ripple ledger their ripple labs to move a lot more a lot of money using ripple like their, their their system and probably utilizing xrp i'm not too sure on that but in general like it's it's the things are too big like i've not heard ethereum doing any of this like ethereum are so quiet they, they don't really talk about what what's going on with anything and i think that's probably why they got away with it they don't talk about it but you know they're they're a company so most companies disclose a lot of things publicly that's why ripple disclosed a lot of their stuff but then got scrutinized for it now i'm wondering why why not let ethereum do the same but it's, it's interesting man i don't know what this is but oh yeah guys i'm gonna make this nice and short because um unfortunately the markets are dead there is no tokens i can suggest to anyone the only tokens coming back hold on um yeah for me man i can't lie to you in general looking at this i wish i had money to buy in because these are good prices as i said like that's a five percent drop that's a five percent drop if it was me all right in general if it was me and i had money don't take this as financial advice this is what i'll do right now um i would definitely stack up on some metaverse tokens but they're pumping so i couldn't do that um if they had dropped i'll be buying them 
I would have bought Kadena. This has pumped like no man's business, but it's dropped slightly today. So, but over and it's up. But yeah, this is one I'd like to purchase. I haven't got my hands on it yet. I probably load up on. Hold on, where is it? Can't go down any lower than that. These are like tokens I'm looking to hold. H bar, I'll be loading up. I won't get any meta mana because of the price. Even though I'm saying it's high, it's not. It's really not. Because if we're looking at uh, 98,000 Bitcoin, what the hell is mana going to be sitting at when the rest of the old coins pump? I'll be looking to stack up. I probably want to buy some of these and get some more of oh, grand. I know this is a low key quiet token, but mm, yeah, I'm holding that one for a bit. Some more Matic, Chainlink, Luna, I would be getting in for sure. Avalanche, not yet, but Luna, yes, <laughs> yeah, that's probably where the majority will go. And then I'll stack up on some more XRP. Ada at the moment, I'm just like, no, I've, I've got enough Ada at the moment. But, you know, it depends. Solana, I'll probably try and get some more in there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like, they're, they're not risky plays. Maybe for people, XRP is a risky play. There's a lot, like don't get me wrong, this is my opinion again as I said, so you don't have to follow it. Do your research, there might be a, there might be someone else who you might listen to who might give you something else. Don't get me wrong, I don't go into depth about a lot of tokens, I will start doing that later on, but today like I, I want to just focus on what news I can give you because I, I wanted to really talk about this Bitcoin situation, what's going on with the market. Yeah, but later on, don't get me wrong, when I start live streaming, if you would not want that, we can sit down and we can talk and we can do that because you know that's where i'll find out a lot and anyway um i'm going to be doing it as soon as i get more free time i'll be talking more about it but anyway the special news at the end guys um i'm going to show you this we'll watch the uh, probably won't should i watch the whole video probably not but anyway gary v this geezer here yeah um so he's released his book called 12 and a half book all right um he has got uh, uh, all right so he's got a community if you're not not involved i'll go check him out he does his and he does nfts all right and he's highly involved in it highly highly involved in it so i would suggest from my end i would jump in there the community is great give out a lot of information they're helpful friendly people i would suggest hop in there and learn some stuff about uh, nfts but yeah anyway this book he hinted it out not too long ago and uh, what do you call it it was buy 12 receive one nft which was cool and i was like i don't own any nft and I, I this guy is an inspiration don't get me wrong i've been seeing loads of videos i've seen loads of them before this anyway the guy's just got good positive energy and it was just like fate i don't know what happened but that day i just woke up and saw a tiktok and i was like oh wow so i found it through a tiktok and i just bought myself don't ask how many but i've got a lot of books coming to the house so 12 books is one nft i'll tell you there's over 100 books but either way so i am going to be giving away a lot of them i'm going to be doing a video hopefully a youtube video of me giving away to people like just like the guy is inspirational there's a lot in that book that can help you in your day-to-day -day lives and stuff like honestly i can't wait to listen to it or not to listen to it to read it and I just want to share that with everyone else. Like I'm not, I don't really want to go selling it. I'd rather people go ahead and listen to it because it gives some good advice. Not everyone is a big fan of him, but don't get me wrong. Like you, you know, you, you take what you take from it. And if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. So guys, I'm um, just for you to get the chance of winning this, the book, just like the video, just like the video, subscribe. So I can have like, you know, an understanding that you lot are down for it. And yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know you're interested. Just write in the comments if you're excited. I'll, I'll be, I'll be tracking them down and then hopefully getting in reach and sending some books to people. 
but yeah um probably be a good idea to follow my instagram <laughs> it will make it easier to message people <laughs> not on youtube but all right so like the video subscribe to the channel and uh just go like uh, follow me on twitter or instagram either then we can get in contact then i can confirm the two and then i'll just lump them but yeah man guys that is literally it um research about that nft because it's gonna be big um i'll be talking about it a bit more in detail tomorrow but yeah guys um yeah i i, I can't wait for that one I really highly suggest you get into his discords. This ain't no paid promotion. I am just grateful that I got in to that situation by fate because I did not look for it. It just sprung upon me. But yeah, man, I want you lot to, sh to enjoy the same things and, you know, be lucky with it like I was. But yeah, man, guys, uh, yeah, it's been a bumpy one. Uh, I'm really hoping tomorrow I don't wake up and see like Bitcoin at 55,000 <laughs> because, uh, I still don't have money to buy back in. I won't care about the price. I know that this is what happens all the time. I, I'm not looking to take profits at this price, regardless. So it's going to fall, regardless, <laughs> if it does, because I'm not pulling it out. I know people will be like, no, don't do that. But personally, for me, I'm still trying to figure it out. So, but that's how, that's my comfort area. So, man, let's hope tomorrow is a different day. Let's, let's just hope things start brightening up for this future. For the rest of this month because we haven't got a lot of days till the end of the month we want something great to come out of this and all of us you know i want all of us to be in profit and yeah man uh, you you lot have a blessed day don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel i really appreciate it as usual oh god i hurt my arm but yeah yeah man guys thank you so much if you watched through this and uh as i said competition not competition it's a giveaway free giveaway um, you do as you please if you want to read it join and then I'll get back to you yeah guys stay blessed I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and good night